Hi there, I'm Jamie. Welcome to another session of Vistec Support Services. In this first of full series, I'll be taking you through the amazing process of lighting, shading, texturing and rendering this stunning atrium. I have more than 10 years of experience in industry and published several popular books on the subjects of V-Ray, Mentoray and 3D Visualization. To follow this tutorial, you'll need textures and the 3ds Max files. These files and the full video are free for my Patreon supporters, or $10 to purchase. To contact me, please email me on jamiecardo at hotmail.com or you can visit my blog by simply googling Jamie Cardoza. to try and achieve a, a night scene in an atrium so the camera has already been set up from the previous tutorial so from this point onwards we're just going to be focusing on lighting it the scene texturing it shading it and rendering it so without further ado we're just going to start by bringing in the uh, the photo reference it's always very quick to, to get really fast results with photo references so this is the photo that the client had chosen I had liaised with the client after a quick search on the internet for nice appealing night shots. So the first thing that we're going to do now is just start with the light and after the lights we start focusing on the, on, on the, on the materials. We're going to start by restricting the selection to lights only. We go into the lights group there, select the V-Ray light and open it there. So the first light is created. Right. The light is a slightly too big, so we're just going to reduce its size. It's also worth mentioning that this, the unit's display is in meters. Let's just change the light colour to something like a really warm tone, like orange. You can always try and use the photo reference to, to match it. Also, we're going to change the light type to disc. Let's call it disc. It's always good practice to to rename the lights because the last thing you want is for all the lights to be called exactly the same especially when you you trying to you know select them or merging them in a different scene and I've chosen the light type to be a disc just because we're trying to emulate the uh, the recess lights there you can actually use the the color picker there so the next light that we're gonna is a dome light. Actually before we go to the dome light we're going to make sure that the light is not visible. It's invisible there so the light is affecting the scene but it's not visible to the camera and then it's not affecting the reflections as well. So the next light that we're going to create is a dome light now. So we just create that modifier we're just gonna rename that as dome and change the light type to dome so to pick the color we're just gonna go for that one there we're going to open the render setup the common parameters open the assign render and load up V-Ray in the output size group we are going to change the width value to about 500 pixels. Because we'll be doing quick test renders, we don't need the render size to be too large. In the V-Ray tab, open the frame buffer parameters. Under the image sample parameters, choose the bucket type. I personally prefer to use the bucket image sampler because one can actually see the buckets on the, on the frame buffer. 
To display more of the image sampler settings, you need to click on the advanced button twice. And the back of image sampler, say full. Anything above full will start affecting the render times significantly. So under GI as well, change the primary engine to irradiance map. In the ambient occlusion value, let's change it to about 0.7 and the radius value can be around 0.35 which is around 350 millimeters. In the irradiance parameters there, we're going to change it to low. Again, the low preset is for draft renders mainly. And the light catch up divisions to about 500 for quick and draft renders. Because we want the dome light rays to come through the roof lights, that surface needs to be transparent. So let's open the material editor. So we're going to start with our roof light. So let's assign the material to it. To change the standard shader into a V-Ray one, we're going to click on this toggle first. Under the V-Ray list, we're going to choose the V-Ray material shader. To make the, uh, the roof light transparent, we're just going to go under the refractions there. Yeah. Just make it really invisible. All is enabled a background toggle to control the opacity and the reflectivity. See there it's totally opaque, there it's transparent. Most glass materials are, have a bit of sheen, so we're just going to disable the fragile reflections there and the uh, highlight glossiness. This way you'll give you better control. Just double click to have a better preview. So we're going to increase the reflectivity slightly there. Brighter colours increase the reflectivity and darker colours do the opposite. We just can increase the sheen slightly. To reduce the opacity, we're just going to darken the colour of the refraction in a refraction group and spread the reflection slightly. It's worth mentioning that it's very good practice to lock the camera views. In this particular case you want that camera to be locked all the time when it comes to rendering. So even if you select a different viewport, because you lock that particular camera view there, it's always going to pick that camera. So that's our first test render. As you can see, the colors are coming really close to the photo reference. Next, we're going to create a few more lights along the floor and the balconies. Let's restrict the selection type to lights only. Select the, uh, the camera viewport there. Go back to selection all. Select that light. Gonna select those. Close the group. And we're gonna isolate All is instance delights as opposed to copy. V-Ray treats instance slides as, as one, whereas when they're copies, they're treated as individuals, therefore taking a lot longer to render and to compute. So whenever possible, all is instance.
So we're changing the viewport to a front viewport. And let's restrict the selection to lights again. First of full series. I hope you liked it. If you did, please click on the like button and I hope to see you in the next one.